You know, fellas, here we go. We've got the Brick Lane Avalanche. Hazy IPA. And 6.7%. These guys are down in Dandy South. I used to work there all the time. Cousin. Got a factory down there. And, yeah. Working for him for 25 years in about five different factories. But I told him a couple of years ago I had enough working in his oily, dirty factory. So he's got someone else. I'm sort of pretty glad. Getting close to 60, I don't feel like bloody working in some filthy old factory. Getting covered in oil. Yeah. Anyway, it is what it wasn't. It's a hazy IPA, and as you can see, you can't see the head. The head's really white and fluffy. Looks pretty good. Pretty high percentage, too, for a hazy. A little bit more than the average. Nice looking head. And that's uh, very hoppy. Extremely hoppy. But not a too bad a hazy. I don't mind it. Like about 20% of hazies I don't like at all. That, that's pretty bloody nice. It's like more of an IPA that's lightly filtered more than anything. Quite fruity. Taste and a bit of um, guava. Orange. Maybe a bit of pineapple. Yeah, that's quite nice, actually. They don't say much, do they? Oh, here you are. Golden orange aroma dominated by stone fruit pineapple. Ripe guava with soft bready cubes. Ripe guava. There you go. You're going to love that. Why do you go away when I want to take you So that's the, um, that's the brick line. Hazy, if you like a nice hazy, that's pretty bloody nice. A nice little kick too, 6.7. Plenty of late hopping in there. Done a good job on that one, guys. Slap on the back. Looks like you've got a bit of a pyramid going on there. That doesn't look like... That looks interesting. Interesting, and not over the top, a little bit of colour on the can, that's alright. They've done the can, they haven't done the label. Yep, I don't mind it. That'll do, mate. Pretty bloody quiet out there on lockdown again. They're the grapefruit oranges we've grown this year. As you can see, it's sort of not quite grapefruit size. A couple of them are quite big, a bit bigger than that, but um, more of a cross between an orange and a grapefruit, not too sour. I, can, I like them in gin and tonic, of all things. I remember my mum eating grapefruit as a kid and she'd sprinkle salt on it. And then we wouldn't eat it unless you put sugar on it. Funny, isn't it? Bloody grapefruit. You wouldn't be able to sell one, would you? <laughs> you kidding. Alright, I'll leave you with that. That's um, pretty good hazy. Pretty happy with that one. And um, we'll see what else happens. See if we can go for, um, get out of lockdown again. That'd be nice. You're all kidding. All right. Cheers, everyone.